it's been said that uh, whether you say to yourself, yes, I can do it, or no, I can't, you'll be right. So whichever voice you choose to listen to, which, whatever you say, um, will turn out to be true because the power of our thoughts is so immense. So my tip about these negative voices is to start creating positive voices, is to develop and nurture a voice that looks only for good things for you, that sees you as successful, that sees you as adventurous and courageous and brave and up for anything. And this voice tells you, why don't you? Give it a go. Well, who knows? You could do it. And that positive voice gains momentum, gains strength and encourages you. One of the best ways of doing it is to look into the mirror look at your own reflection in the mirror and say, I'm damn good. Now, the first time, the reflection that comes back out of the mirror is, yeah, you're saying that, but you don't mean it. So now convince the person in the mirror. So over and over and over again, with passion, determination, commitment and energy, get it through. And then what starts to happen then is that the self-belief of that starts to show. And you'll know it's there because you'll see it in the mirror. Make sure that, that an affirmative thought is with you all day long. That, and if you need to, um, spray one in um, shaving foam on your bathroom mirror or write one in magnetic letters on your fridge, inside your diary, um, so that it's your screensaver. A positive thought that lifts you and reminds you how great you are and how great you can be. So many of us will try and build up the confidence of other people and we forget the person that we look at in the mirror. Why not give ourselves some of the time, some of the energy that we would happily and willingly give to other people?